Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Toasted Synapse from TSGaming.net with another first impressions video. This time around we have Deadpool. Indeed, uh, Deadpool, the game, developed by High Moon Studios and published by Activision. Um, a new game on Steam that has arrived and has kind of like bad reviews all across the board. Um, and of course I won't be tackling all the uh, aspects of the game because this is a first impressions uh, video and should not be treated as a review. Now, uh, things that we are going to see go wrong and my f uh, initial thoughts on the gameplay mechanics and how this game looks and feels, I will be sharing them with you so you can make an educated buy if you want to buy this game. Okay, so before we get into anything, I just want to talk about the pricing. Like I said, you can get it on Steam. Uh, if you're in the US, this will cost you $39.99 US dollars or from the DeadpoolGame.com website. And this is the thing, if you are in Europe, uh, I don't know for what reason, it's $49.99 Euros for the EU. Yeah, so 40 bucks for the US and 50 Euros for the EU. Uh, that's basically converts into six, uh, 65 dollars. I have no idea what the F is up with that. Uh, the UK gets it for 29.99 pounds. So it's more normal over there. Now, in this wonderful game, you play as Deadpool. Uh, voiced by Nolan North. Uh, okay. Uh, the character kind of like has a split personality, so you will notice uh, Deadpool uh, talking from two voices, from two perspectives. Obviously, the character is crazy, you know. And the story of the game is the game. Um, the story is about Deadpool trying to fight the video game studio and he's trying to make the Deadpool game this game so when you start off you start off in his apartment I didn't want to spoil anything for you guys so hopefully I won't spoil uh, I, I'm not spoiling that part and hopefully I won't spoil the parts that will follow uh, the game is very uh, story focused so, okay, something has opened. Shoot this thing to open it, okay. X or right mouse button. We'll talk about controls in a second. Uh, for the story, like I said... For the story, like I said... Um, you start off in his apartment. He wants to make a Deadpool game. Nobody wants to make a Deadpool game with him. So he basically threatens to kill them and that's where the story starts off. We need a script for the game, we need something to function. Oh, I'm almost dead. F. Oh, I focus on the maintenance room. Deadpool's abilities are super regenerative powers. My suit is really destroyed. So, super regenerative powers, because he was a part of the X program, the X initiative, whatever, so he, they drugged him. He can regenerate health really quick, uh, but it also made him insane, obviously. And yeah, you wanna fight these guys. These guys don't wanna make a video game with you, they have an awful script with no violence, so you're just gonna go and show them. The Deadpool is all about violence. So there is a lot of fourth wall breaking where uh, the character Deadpool acknowledges that you are a player in front of the monitor and you're playing him. He actually tells you to read tutorials and uh, he tells you about combos and stuff like that. He tells you how to play. I need theme music. Uh... 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I was just getting to uh, this part. It's littered with puns and crazy stuff happening that appears to be in random sequences. Nope, wrong way. You have not purchased this item yet. Yes, you have to purchase the item from the upgrades menu. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Uh, can I go over here? No. My, what so, um... It's littered with puns, with random stuff. Uh, lots of one-liners in reference to sex, violence, body parts, stuff like that. Uh, it tries to be funny. And the fact that you have to be a fan of Deadpool to enjoy, uh, to enjoy the game, or at least uh, that's what I think, because of uh, the other mechanics and elements of the game are kind of this mediocre. Okay, interact. So, the fun experience has to come from the ra uh, random crazy funny stuff, right? If you enjoy it, then uh, that's good. If you don't... Okay, the elevators work. If you don't enjoy the crazy puns, one-liners and, you know, vulgarity and Deadpool as a character, I, I don't think you will enjoy this game for what it has to offer when it comes to combat, you know, combos and stuff like that. Shift and spacebar. Okay. Your combo, the faster you can earn momentum to do awesome moves like that. Thank you. you more momentum He's actually talking to me, weapons. the player. My combos mean nice more all. points, which mean more awesome upgrades. Got it. Good. Can I move now? Spacebar to continue. All right. Uh, so the upgrades menu, yeah. Uh, these are your melee weapons, and you can buy them, I guess, when you get enough Deadpool points, DP points. Um, and if you... Let's see. Yeah, if you click on something, then go to upgrade, you can upgrade it. Uh, the blades, upgrade the blades with uh, more damage. Um, a DP rewards, I'm gonna go for DP re rewards, so more. But it, I do have enough, do I? Yes, why not? Upgrade. And then again, I can upgrade it. This is how the upgrade menu works. Also, new momentum attack, shift plus Q. Momentum is obviously a few chain kills together and you go for more and more and more. This is uh, called momentum and you can do combos with that momentum. Now you can also buy weapons. I haven't unlocked this one over here, which uh, kind of looks like a grenade. So I can get the grenades, and then I will, um, I will be able to uh, pick them off the ground. All right. Uh, but I'm gonna go melee for this. They, the split personalities were actually talking. Oh, I want to build my Deadpool for a melee tanky build or something. I want to build my Deadpool for a cupcake eating build, but I don't think they have that in. Or something like that. Okay. He's guarding, but you know, the, the combat isn't so... Isn't so satisfying, I would say. Okay, B. Uh, B. So I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard. You can play with the controller. We're gonna take to switch shoulders. Oh, the shoulder of the camera? Maybe? Yes. Oh. So I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. I'm going to uh, show you guys. How the men uh, the ah the menu works for the keys that you can pick for this game. Basically, I'm going with the default ones because I want to see what experience those offer. And I I don't know they're set up kind of weird. You have Q and E for blade attacks, strong and uh, light attacks, and then you have right mouse button and left mu mouse button for. Uh, Shooting. Shooting and aiming with right mouse button. Uh, then you have B. It tells me to go B and attack this guy from behind. There we go. 
B is essentially a... Let me kill this guy. B is essentially a teleport. You do it like this. Camera angle is... I heard it's a little weird when you play with a controller. But when you're playing with the mouse, obviously you have more control over it. So, it's still not very good in what it is. But you at least have control over it. If I press F, no. And I have momentum, now I can press shift plus spacebar. Let's try to do that, because it says on the... There we go. Killed three guys with that. It says on the left of the screen, over there, that I have momentum. Is this the elevator? I don't know, guys. I don't know anymore. Deadpool. Yeah, one-liners, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of enjoy it. The comedy, I mean, not the combat and stuff like that. I, I kind of enjoy it, even though it's clear that, that they are trying too hard with it. But I don't know. I enjoy that, but it isn't enough for me to say I, I enjoy the entirety of the game. So it isn't enough for me to, you know. This is my jam. Yeah, I'll let you guys see this part. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. See, he's like an angel. I'm crazy. I'm crazy for. This must be my stop. Ah, oh, there's gotta be a way out of here. Think, Deadpool, think! Movie solution to being stuck in an elevator in three, two, one. Eureka! I'll shoot out the window! There we go. So, whoa. Almost, um... Jumped off there. So yeah, is that enough? Well, For some penthouse, people it may be. For me, it's not. So, if you're a really big fan of Deadpool, and enjoy these kinds of uh, this kind of comedy. Why not? You know, get the game. Especially if you're in the U.S. If you're in the EU, I don't know, 65 bucks, 50 euros for it. Um, now again, uh, jump up here, because I wasn't. Yeah, hey, I jump up here. Okay. It's a down moment, you know. Might be a good time. Say it. The down movement? Okay, come on. Just jump up here. I don't want to buy more upgrades. He's telling me to buy more upgrades there. Um, so yeah. Is this enough to justify you buying the, the game? I don't know. It all depends on your choice. I think I'm gonna do one of these jumps. Alright, whoa. Okay. And we're up. I think the bounce house is still pumped up. Of course it is. Get inside, and you to interact. Uh, hold you. Fine. And like I said, from what I've read, I don't think the story is so long. Out of the newsroom. I mean, in the main menu, you guys will see there are about eight missions. Chance White died at the hands of Super Sex Pot. Do I have momentum? No. There are about eight missions, so. Is that enough? Again, it's up to you guys. If you really like Deadpool. Um, you have not purchased this item yet. What item? Oh, the shotgun, right. I'm not gonna purchase it. I'm not gonna stay in the upgrades menu too much for you guys or stuff like that. Um, I will show you the options menu and stuff like that, like I always do in uh, first impression, so you guys can uh, see for yourself what options do you have if you have a uh, PC that doesn't work so well. Like you can see, the graphics aren't that, you know, top notch, latest gen graphics, which is okay, I mean, for a comic book game, I wouldn't expect there to be realistic graphics or anything like that. 
Um, yeah, the the combat. That's that's the main problem here. But I think it's more enjoyable, honestly, on the whoa. I think it's more enjoyable on the PC than on the. Oh, that was that a grenade? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I have enough health to go back in. Yeah, so it's. I think it's more enjoyable on the PC than it is um, with a controller because you have camera control. And I don't know. That's just me. Again, I haven't played with a controller to know, but I, I know some people that have problems with it. Okay. No, do I press F to see where I'm going? Nope. Um, okay, that's weird. That, what? And, no. Okay, whatever. I mean, what kind of a pussy are you, Deadpool? You can't jump over a regular fence. A normal dude can jump over that fence. Come on. Uh, alright. Where to go, where to go? Well, we, we will find out where to go. Um... There isn't the the because I was talking about the combat the, the the moves you use to make a combo don't really feel like they connect to one and to one another you don't get that fluid response you know the moves that you do they chain off of one another and you 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 see me juggling the camera here and there. That's intentional. I'm doing that in an attempt to see what's going on. But it'll be harder for you to see how awesome I am. Okay, smoke. Oh, right. B. Let's do this. And yeah, I can buy more momentum stuff. And I'm guessing this would get repetitive. I mean, of course you can get new momentum stuff, new weapons. They do try. Uh, when it comes to comedy and puns and stuff like that, I think they're trying too hard. Um, and when it comes to... To the combat and the mechanics, they are trying, you know, obviously to... Uh, switch it up and but it, they don't really connect they don't feel fluid so even if they they give you new weapons and new combos all right even if they give you new weapons and new combos like that I, I don't know if that would be enough you know whoa there we go everybody dead Nope. Whoa. Move. Camera, what are you doing? If I touch you, do you not bleed? Yeah, so one liner and stuff like these things happened. Can I cut this? No. They do leave a Yeah? Yeah. On the wall. Does um get cut over there and you can see the cuts which is an, another nice thing you know again I'm, I'm not sure if I recommend this game only to true like fans and before you, you get it you know also also read the re, uh, some reviews and stuff like that there's a grenade but hopefully you know I've uh, shown you enough in this first impressions video. We will, I guess, get into the options, because there, there is not much going on here. I don't want to spoil the boss or anything for you guys. Um, hello? How do I get there? Jump through the window? No. Okay. B actually, you know... Cuts me loose from them. In addition to teleport, which is nice. Where are ya? Show yourself! You fiend! Whatever. 
Serious backup. I hope you got new enemies with new. You know, there, there could be. Uh, new and better enemies further on in the game. This is on medium difficulty from from three total difficulties. So this is kind of like normal difficulty. You can try for the last difficulty if you feel this is easy. And honestly, it's so repetitive that I have no no problems, you know, talking, moving, kiting, doing everything. Because it's just mashing buttons. There's no uh, tactic involved into into what I'm doing here. It's just mashing buttons, doing this, shooting people, pressing E, uh, Q, doesn't matter if it's a light attack or a strong attack or a combination of strong and light in a combo. You know, just mash buttons. All of these buttons will eventually kill your enemy and you will be fine in the end. So it doesn't matter. Hopefully, yeah. I actually closed those guys in, so uh, the story is progressive. You cannot go back through the door, I believe. Yes, you. No. Yep. So I completely escaped those enemies. I think we're coming up to the ending right here. So I'm not going to spoil the ending of the first chapter, I believe. Tacos collected, yeah. Let's just jump and kill ourselves. I can press B to teleport in case I jumped. And so yeah. Bored anyway. <sighs> yeah, it was boring. Yeah, well, of course. Uh, let's quit the game. And I'll show you the menu. Obviously continue campaign. Uh, so this is the campaign, home sweet home. Uh, what I told you, he's in his apartment. Wanting to make a Deadpool game, you can interact with the uh, with the toilet and stuff like that, with the refrigerator, with the uh, pizza that's gone bad, stuff like that. Uh, and it, yeah, it, it is funny, but you know, just that part. Then you get to the combat, and it's like, uh, is this enough? I don't know. Again, you guys decide. So yeah, there, there is a part where. Uh, he gets that uh, censoring uh, rectangle, that censoring black rectangle across his uh, crotch, and uh, again, the breaking of the fourth wall. He says, uh, "Well, uh, this isn't uh, big enough," and he actually grabs the rectangle, which you would uh, you, you would think it would be in pro post uh, production, technically. So uh, he grabs the rectangle, he makes it bigger, and he say, "Yeah, that's more realistic." So yeah. A lot of fourth wall breaking, stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's the first mission. Then you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other missions. I mean, eight in total. And challenges. Yeah, struggle against the oppressive, whatever, prison facility. Beat, whatever, to unlock. Yeah, leaderboard, stuff like that. Settings, uh, but before settings, the extras. Uh, in extras, you have bios, so you can check out bios for various superheroes. Branded is both hero and villain. Deadpool was once a badass mercenary named Wade Wilson. After being recruited into the Weapon X program, Wade was subjected to experiments that gave him awesome regenerative powers and drove him batshit crazy. Today, the Merc with a Mouth travels the globe in search of fortune and chimichangas! So there you go, a little bit of background. I'm not gonna show you all of these. So yeah, that's Deadpool's background. You can check out the others. Um, in the DC, uh, in the Marvel Universe, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, mainly X-Men. Um, so, uh, controls, this is when I said it was weird. Uh, camera sensitivity, good that it's here, for, it was too high to begin with. And even now it's a little high, but I didn't bother to switch it. Inverse, stuff like that. Uh, keyboard and mouse or, or controller, and now keyboard and mouse layout. 
okay it tells you the buttons uh, but if you want to change something it gives you into this you can't actually press a button on your keyboard to change it you kind of have to go in this menu over here and then this menu over here which is weird you know never uh, I don't think I've seen a game that lets you bind your controls this way yeah uh, it's kind of weird but like I said with the keyboard and mouse it's kind of okay the way they are set out uh, by default and now in audio yeah various um, volume gadgets uh, slider is over here good and uh, display which is weird uh, save frame I don't think we you can move these oh my whatever I don't know it's there but you can't use it uh, brightness whatever you know you know these uh, graphics this is it low medium high and extra you do not have any other uh, customizable controls and graphics as far as I know uh, also yeah full screen and resolution and v-sync okay by the way uh, the soundtrack it is pretty cool I'll let you hear it for a second so yeah there we go uh, that's it. If you like the soundtrack, if you like the quirkiness of the game, the puns, the one-liners, the references to body parts and sex, stuff like that. If you like Deadpool, first of all, yeah, get this game. If not, don't expect it to be a, a good third-person uh, action game, because it's not. It does have problems. You can reset upgrades, by the way, from here also. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. The first impressions video of Deadpool. Again, $39.99 US dollars on Steam or DeadpoolGame.com, or also on Steam you can get it for $49.99 Euros in the EU, my god, and £29.99 pounds if you're in the UK. Again, this has been Toasted Synapse from TSGaming.net. Please check the annotations at the end that will take you to other first impressions, let's plays, or video gaming news. And yeah, check out tsgaming.net, and I will see you in my next video, guys. I am signing out.